Hey everybody, I'm back with another In Idiot's Liquor. Today I'm making a drink called the Virgin on Prom Night. Now this drink kind of stuck out a little bit the name, I guess. You know, we've all probably been to prom or been at that age. So, don't know where the drink name comes from, but if you're that old to where you're still going to prom, you probably shouldn't be drinking it anyway. Regardless, I'm making this because it's a dark rum featured drink that, you know, I have everything for. It sounded interesting, so I decided I'm going to try this one out. Like I said, it's a dark rum drink. That's why I have my dark rum here. And I have my Bacardi 151. It's going to go in there as well. And some triple sec also going to go in there. You need to make sure you have some pineapple juice. I have uh, canned. I don't usually juice my own pineapples, which I probably should, but... I don't drink enough pineapple juice to do that. This drink's going to be made in a Collins glass, and I'm using a short shaker in order to do it because the drink will be shaken and served in the same glass. That's why I use my short shaker. It works a lot better with that Collins glass than the bigger one that I've used in past videos. So, we're going to get started on this drink and find out what a virgin really is like on prom night. Like I said, this drink is... Dark rum is the main spirit in this drink. We're going to use an ounce and a half of that. We're going to pour that into the Collins glass first. Follow that up with a quarter ounce of our triple sec. So once we get the quarter ounce triple sec in there, we're going to throw in some ice and then top it up with pineapple juice. So. You like to throw in the ice afterwards. The reason I like to throw in the ice afterwards is because you don't want to dilute the drink any more than you have to. So I don't want some watered down piece of crap drink. So we'll top this with some pineapple juice. Leave a little bit of room because we are going to be adding our 151 rum. So that's probably about five, six ounces of pineapple juice. And we're going to shake this up real quick. Okay, now we have a nice frothy drink. Now, it doesn't seem like there's any room in there, but that's because of the froth. It probably is going to overflow a bit, though, by the looks of it. But we just want to top this off with about a quarter ounce of 151 rum. After that, I'm just going to stick a straw in there and give it a nice stir with the straw real gently just to kind of incorporate that 151. So that is how you make a virgin on prom night drink. Now this can also be made in a shooter. I've seen the recipe for a shooter. Uh, I chose not to make that because it kind of seemed, it called for an eighth ounce of Bacardi, which who wants to sit there and measure out an eighth of an ounce of Bacardi? So now that we got this, we're going to try it out and see what it's like. It's a solid drink. I mean, it's just pineapple juice and dark rum go so well together. You see dark rum in a lot of island, Caribbean style drinks. And this one is just yet another one of those. And it still it goes down smooth, very smooth. Not a bad drink. Definitely worth trying out. And it's probably better than a virgin would be on prom night. So thanks for watching this episode of An Idiot's Liquor. This was the Virgin on Prom Night Cocktail. And if you want to see even more of my videos, check out the YouTube channel. Give it a subscribe if you like it. I post new videos every Friday. And, you know, I am open to suggestions. Very engaged with everybody. And really want to know what your feedback is on it. So check it out. Give it a subscribe. And keep watching. Because remember... It's okay to drink like an idiot.